Fuck that shit. Hold on. I got to start this motherfucking record over. I'ma play this motherfucker for y'all. Hey, y'all get some more drinks going on. I sound a whole lot better. while his camp entered temptation by training in this new and unlikely location. Well, here we are, we're in Phoenix, Arizona. ...trainer and removed himself from temptation by training in this new and unlikely location. And that fresh start is no more apparent than in Tyson's new trainer. While his camp interviewed many of the biggest names in the sport, Tyson decided upon one of boxing's better kept secrets, veteran trainer Tommy Brooks. Thinking more now, uh, it's not uh, him being a young man anymore. Just, just throwing caution to the wind, just going right after a guy. We're setting traps now. Uh, he's throwing, throwing something at a guy and having him move one way, move right into the punch that he wants him to. I did my job and I, I did a good job because uh, Mike has looked uh, the best he has in 10 years. Mike and I had a great working uh, relationship and uh, I had any, didn't have any problems with him. That's the reason why I'm here, because he knows he's going to get the truth. And what is the truth? The truth is that you got to work hard in order for you to be what you want to be. So you run the combination nice, but you got to step around though. Roche's giant killer, you know, that's all gone now. Mike has to fight now. Now, if you take that step over, you gotta throw that right hand. As soon as you get over there, throw it. And when you gotta fight, you gotta know how to do it. Uh huh. Where's the jab? There you go. Where's the jab? That's it. Excellent.
I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier. before, so I expect for you to conduct yourself as champions. Obey my commands at all times, shake hands, and good luck. Opinion, let's see what he, what he does. The bell for round one. Friends, both the tactics, and if this pace is fast, which Mike knows no other way, I want to see how he can rounds two, three, and four, if we get that far. And there is a lot of head movement on the part of Mike Tyson here. Tyson being very patient. What an ugly start to this fight. Either. Right hand by uh, Tyson sent both back, but it was off the shoulder. Now left by. Forget all that. This, this is, a fight. is an alley fight, a straight fight. This is the kind that, that uh, uh, and both of them won the first round, so this is interesting. Fighter, and knowing the game, as a referee, I've seen many of them take a point away for excessive holding. Then both has got a fight. 
Tyson is being out jabbed, out thought. That should pop your eardrum for you. I'll tell you what, I don't like fighters that just hold, punch and hold. Both are getting off first, and Tyson not countering, not taking it. Tyson shots that we've hit, seen him hit, hit people. Not once. Get out now you go. Tries to open it up, does Tyson. Suffocated by this mountain of white flesh here. I mean, as soon as he met it, it's a mark of a shot fighter when you can't get all punches. If, oh, a screw right here. Down goes Bova. Mike steps into him, bang. He turned his whole body, his hip, his legs. Let's take a look. It's a short, chopping right hand. There it is. Right on. You look at the body. He turns his body into this punch. His hips, his shoulders, from the floor up, he drives this right hand uh, in. Bobby. Eight, nine. Can he make it? It's over. It's over. Mike Tyson has returned. I just feel good there. I've been training hard. Um, I come down from a lot of weight, and um, I'm probably I'm, I'm eight percent body fat, and that's um, this is probably the lowest I can get. I'm gonna do well in this fight, and I'm just looking forward to um, getting in the ring, get my hands on the guy. What do you suspect Orlando Norris to do? Um, get knocked out. <laughs> You think he's going to try to run for a while or be cute? I don't care or? whatever he's going to do. You know, he's going to do a lap. I'm prepared for everything. Are you going to be come out a little bit more, maybe cautiously, fight more in control, fight maybe more desperately because you really want to prove something to the world? Well, I have nothing to prove. Only thing I have to do is just keep winning. So prediction, Mike Tyson? Knockout. Okay. You heard it here on CNN with Mike Tyson. Steve, we're at a weigh-in. As far as Orlin Norris is concerned, 218 looks... The key for Tyson is to show that he's making progress towards recapturing the skills that had made him the youngest heavyweight champion in history. Now, uh, he's he's throwing, throwing something at a guy and having him move one way, move right into the punch that he wants him to, to, uh, to fall. In the other regard, maybe more controlled aggression, but a lot of people are saying this guy he will fight with more of an act of desperation as a flawed, aging fighter who knows... However, the former champion's notoriety, darker impulses, and fading skills have caused... You know, it very well could be the same Tyson, but the opponent is different, and at heavyweight, styles make fights. Orlando Norris is short like Tyson. Tyson won't have to lunge. It's very possible that Tyson... ...sparring session was highlighted by a chilling left hook that knocked down Everett Bigfoot Martin. Mike himself is the key to everything. I think that uh, once he builds confidence within his own ability again, uh, he's getting there right now. Uh, he's going to be fine. He'll be the champion of the world again then.
referee in charge, Richard Steele. Controversial referee, the third man, and here we go. The bell for round one, and Tyson comes right out with a straight left. Both are heavily muscled and the same muscle type. Good left hook to the belly by Mike Tyson right there. Tyson going to the body. At least Mike is trying to jab more than he did in the other fights. Like he always did. Not at all intimidated by the not, moment. Not at all. Heavy right hands, a series of rights to the head and body by Mike Tyson. Norris's best weapon, the double left hook. There's a straight left hand there by uh, Mike Tyson, and then he follows it up with a combination and a right uppercut. For the bell. That was a punch uh, while they were talking. See what Steele says. Hit after the bell. That again because it almost looked to me like if it was at the same time as him saying break and the punch time. going. Time. Well, now this is politics now. The bell is rung for round two, but nothing's happening. Right. His hand and he cannot continue. Oh man. I can't make him continue. You know what? I this can't make me. him continue. Now he goes over to the executive director of the Nevada Athletic Commission, Mark Rapp. Uh -oh. Now there's a lot of scurrying in the ring. Uh -oh. After round number one, due to an accidental foul which occurred after the bell rang. This bout is officially ruled at this time a no contest. Here he is. See? Oh, it's oh, buckled. Cold. Yeah. You can see his leg buckled as he went down. Oh, great! Oh, he definitely hit him after the another bell. night, another Tyson night. Give me your view of what happened. Did you throw the punch after you heard the bell? Well, you know, you were there. You saw it. It was simultaneous with the bell, and the punch wasn't that devastating. He could have continued. He quit on his stool. But I'll take him again in my next fight. I'll fight him right away. Well, let's fight him in December. I'd love to. All right. Let me ask you something. How could a blow to the jaw hurt his knee? Listen, all right? I you, he knew the next round I was going to put that heat on him, and he wasn't ready for that heat. Yeah, right. You're ready for a good fight. You You're ready to come back in December against anybody. I feel great, and I just want to continue to fight one fight at a time and fight around four more fights and fight for the championship. Yes, sir. The reality of the situation is um, <clears throat> he could have got up and continued exactly. to fight. Exactly. I exactly. put that heat on him, and he didn't want to continue. I was hearing all this stuff. He's a tough guy. He's not going to lay down. He's not like anybody exactly. else. He's going to come to fight. He's a good boxer. And he didn't. Listen, to fight me alone, I don't care what him. Whatever you say about me, good or bad, you got to have heart to even get in the ring with me. Exactly. You know, the, and what he just, um, the way he conducted himself, he should, be, he should feel bad about himself. He should feel disgraced about himself. And the real fighter fights they can't fight no more. Many times, when I fought Buster Douglas, I could have quit that fight. When I fought the Holyfield the first time, I could have quit that fight. I took my beating like a man. Norris got up. He walked back to his corner very nicely. There was no limping, no thing. His corner was caught on tape saying, stay down, stay down. Anyone who's competitive of any kind of sort, sports, business, anyone who's competitive, no. If, if you're able to continue, you continue, even if your leg is fractured, broken, anything. If you're a competitor, you continue. And he wasn't in that bad a shape um, not to um, continue. And I'm just, I'm just tired of it. I, I really don't even want to fight no more. I'm just tired of all this, really.